you have a new office in Singapore last year, expansion into Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Sydney. Can you share with us where do you see growth opportunities in Asia? I'm a perpetual uh, Asia bull, and I think Asia will lead global growth, in particular in the post-pandemic world. But how do you see from your standpoint in terms of uh, opportunities in Asia? Yeah, no, it's, well, absolutely. I, I, uh, I am too. <laughs> I, I think I'm of the uh, same beliefs. Um, so we uh, look at Asia and, and, and in particular Asia's growth and our growth in Asia, both via the lens of the overall economic growth in the Asia region, uh, which is driven by many of the same factors that you have mentioned and uh, I'm sure uh, other, uh, your other esteemed speakers have talked about. Um, we also view the growth in Asia uh, in terms of uh, the interconnectedness that uh, Asia has managed to achieve with the global markets, uh, both in terms of the real markets as, uh, as uh, well as the financial markets. And as uh, a primarily electronic market maker, uh, we uh, one direct way we observe and measure that uh, is the development and growth of the electronic markets and electronic trading across different asset classes in Asia itself. Uh, and that's a direct measure of the uh, interconnectedness of the Asian markets, financial markets, uh, with the global markets and global players, right? And uh, uh, there are several positive catalysts that we have observed recently um, from things like uh, Taiwan's move uh, to continuous trading last year, and that was highly successful, right? And uh, by successful, we mean direct increase in trading volumes and a number of uh, participants, global participants on that platform uh, that were participating in a large way. And uh, uh, that can be directly participated, uh, well, uh, interpreted as increased interconnectedness with the global uh, financial players. Uh, Japan uh, is implementing uh, multi-broker self-match prevention. You know, this is where we start getting into uh, very technical things about how exchanges operate, but those are very important features uh, for multinational uh, operators like ourselves. Um, and you know, several exchanges within the region are getting ready for major technology uh, upgrades that not only will benefit them, that will also further increase uh, the standing of uh, Asian financial markets uh, uh, globally. Um, and in addition, um, we talk about this is an emerging theme despite all the challenges brought uh, about by COVID-19. There are also real positive developments in terms of programs like Hong Kong Stock Connect, which I've talked about earlier, Japan's ETF Connect, as well as uh, Singapore's own DR Link with Thailand and uh, the Gift City Initiative with India. These are all really positive examples of that continued growth and development in uh, the, the interconnectedness with between Asian markets themselves, as well as uh, uh, between Asian markets and uh, global financial markets, right? And, and we very much pay attention and, and uh, uh, want to be a partner and oftentimes our partners with uh, the various different uh, financial markets in Asia. And uh, we've seen our business grow, our offices grow uh, with as these markets grow, especially as, become, as their electronic platforms grow and as they become more connected uh, with regional and global markets as well. I'm a, um, uh, as I said earlier, uh, perpetual optimist uh, of Asia. Uh, the world's investors are clearly familiar, uh, not uh, just I think with Asia, but obviously the China growth, growth story. And for us, uh, that really means providing efficient access into Asian markets. And in the case of China, uh, obviously, uh, there's an important big market. Our access into the equity market is via the FTSE China A50 index futures. That is a hyper-liquid, globally accepted futures. Uh, is a benchmark. Uh, it has got deep and uh, established roots in the uh, marketplace. But I think what's important also is the diversity of Asia. And that means other emerging market powerhouses uh, also offer interesting opportunities. Um, 
Hung talk about the uh, SGX uh, India Give City uh, Connect. Uh, we just opened up uh, an office there. We will be in the coming months uh, looking to uh, work with our partner uh, NSC to further internationalize India's uh, capital markets. Uh, and also not forgetting, obviously, Southeast Asia, where the economies are benefiting from the recovery in uh, global trade. So we're helping investors to unearth opportunities uh, in hidden gems such as Indonesia, Vietnam, and global financial markets are more interconnected than ever. Investors invest globally. Uh, global market makers make markets across thousands of securities, across many different geographies. So we want to connect uh, with more marketplaces, uh, whether there's exchanges uh, or OTC, and we believe that would be beneficial. Uh, so that we can channel liquidity and interest into uh, markets.